It's the big day for Syrah Raymond. She's about to marry Britain's notorious hard man, Charles Bronson. We deserve each other. We do. It's like uh, we're two people, but, but one soul. Um, he says we are soul twins. Her daughter, Sammy, looks down at the gathering press. No, I'm not nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> um, no, I mean, Charlie asked me yesterday, he goes, are you nervous? I said, no. He goes, neither am I. It's like, it's like you're meant to be. It's like, I've got no choice, but it's just meant to be. I said, yeah, and that's how I feel. What's so lovely about him? What is so bad about him? You've only met him eight times. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? I'm doing exactly the right thing, OK? Bronson is a Category A prisoner, so the wedding has to be held inside his maximum security it's wing. Here's out of bounds. The press eagerly await a glimpse Beyond of the bride. That, oh, I've done it already. I'm back there. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Lady in the black step white. Oh, good morning. I just wanted a quiet life with Charlie, simple as that. Some people called me, um, I'm, I'm a publicity seeker, and I'm, in, uh, I'm after his money. What? Charlie doesn't have any money. Charles Bronson has had to tape record his speech. I'm going to do a little message for me wedding party, all the guests. All right. I want to thank Dave Courtney. Cheers, Dave, for putting this party together. Sora, it's my lovely wife. One of the greatest human beings that's ever come into my life. And I'm right proud of her. Thanks to all my family and all my friends. Love you all. Have a great, great party. Only 18 days after the wedding, one newspaper has already started to speculate about an imminent divorce. Syrah and Bronson have strongly denied the rumors. <laughs> 